An undercover security guard is charged with coercing a woman into sex. He apparently nabbed the woman for shoplifting at the Springfield Kmart on Saturday. But sometime between apprehending her and handing her over to police, authorities say the guard assaulted the woman. Stephen Cheetah is on the story for us tonight. Stephen. The details in this case still are somewhat unclear. We don't know exactly where this alleged assault took place. Uh, we don't exactly get the timeline either, but here's what we have so far. A woman who was picked up for shoplifting says that she was assaulted, sexually assaulted by the man who apprehended her. We know that that individual now faces abduction and forcible sodomy charges. The Springfield Kmart is the scene of an alleged sexual assault by a security officer. That's horrible. You just made me scared to shop around here. The 23-year-old alleged victim said loss prevention officer Tabasam Jalani apprehended her earlier in the day for shoplifting. She said he coerced her into sex, apparently telling her he would do something for her to get her to do what he wanted. But after she was charged with shoplifting, she told police about the alleged deal gone bad. Oh, he, he was, was a security officer that did it? Oh my gosh, okay, background checks for sure. The alleged victim was taken to the hospital. After an investigation, police took 29-year-old Jelani into custody. We went to his Lorton home. A man who answered the door did not want to talk. No, I'm sorry, I cannot give you any, I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Meanwhile, regular Kmart shoppers expressed outrage. You know, that's awful. It's, I mean, it's just too many things around here have been happening, and safety needs to get a little bit better in the Springfield area, I think. We talked with several employees of Kmart. They all said that they know the suspect in this case very well, described him as a, a good guy, a Pakistani immigrant. They also expressed surprise at learning of these allegations. Apparently, no one from Kmart had, had informed these employees. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News. All right.